The music seems almost too calm for me to like start this video. Like I feel like I should, you know, wait for it to sit out and just relax. But I won't. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we're going to look at interdiction torches. You can see that I've plastered them all around the area now. Um, I've currently set it to... it is daytime. But I've got rain on, just so for certain tests that I'm going to show you. Oh, night time would be fine. Anyway, interdiction torches, they're made with three diamonds, three glowstone, two redstone torches, and the philosopher's stone that we would have made over there somewhere on the other side. And they have one particular interesting property. As you can see, we've got a flying zombie over there. Um, yep, that's right, I invented the power of flight. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look over here. They hate my guts. They want to come kill me. Oh, but look, there's like a line here. As if they don't want to touch... Well, can't get to me. And I'll put one over here. Oh, look. <laughs> I have invented flight again. Kind of. Moonwalking. Oh, jeez. That one invented it by himself. I haven't actually tested all the areas to see where people fly. But, you know, it has a pretty good... Uh, pretty interesting property. It stops mobs coming within a certain distance of the torch. To put it simply, uh, I made kind of things over here, tried to make it look semi-interesting. This is one where they won't fly because they're too far apart, but if you smack them, they learn to moonwalk. Yay! Kind of. <laughs> uh, I had this whole idea for this particular video to... Um, if you guys have ever played Portal and you watch the, you know, the Moon Boots advert for it, it's like, Hi, this is Cave Johnson! And, um, I was going to do something like that, but I couldn't get just the starting intro music or, like, the stuff to play in the background. And even so, like, I might not have been allowed to use that music, so I decided not to. And, anyway, so I was quite surprised when I, um, was making these two different areas, that when these ones were this far apart and I knocked this particular zombie up and outwards uh, it started to take flight so I thought that was quite interesting <laughs> still I do like the way that the uh, the redstone turned out oh Jesus where the hell did you go <laughs> okay you have to be careful obviously uh, if you were playing this in the Technic pack you gotta watch out for ogres because um, well, in my particular pack, like, I've had to revert to a save so that I could get back some of the stuff that Ogus destroyed in here. Obviously, because it would not be very good to upload a world that, you know, has been destroyed. Alrighty. Uh, it also has some other particular interesting things. Let's see if I can show you... Okay, so if we put it in an alchemical chest... Hmm, that's a good place. There. Hmm. I can't tell if that's actually working or not. Okay, so it is working. Uh, does it multiply if you put more in there? No. Okay, well that's semi-useless. <laughs> but the idea is that you can chuck it in here and then you have a little bit of room to, you know, play around with your chests and not get hit by zombies. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem to be the case. That's okay. We can deal with that. We can deal. We're strong. Okay. So, we'll grab this. We'll put it back. We'll grab a pick, because we can't be having that just lying around there. And, hang on a second. Alrighty, so what I have forgotten to show you is... Let's see if I can get some... What we need is some skeletons. Because this force field also has an interesting effect of... Be gone. Go away. There we go. This force field also has the interesting effect of... Trying to take these arrows and not letting them get shot at you. So, look at that. Oh, that one went over there. So, it also kind of has a double-edged sword effect where if I have, you know... Actually, let's see if I can do something. Oh, I can do it. Okay. So, we'll 
put infinity on this bow. I only need one of these then. Alrighty. So neither of us can, you know... Ow. I'm shooting myself because I'm trying to shoot it at him. And it fires back at me. Oh, I got him. Okay, so... <laughs> that looked cool. Uh, so this is what happens when I'm making videos. I get I get distracted because I'm having too much fun. Um, oh, did our flying oh, our flying zombie f doesn't fly anymore? If you punch it too hard, like hold down the critical thing, you can hit them. So it's not you know too harmful for your own self, but um, it's good to know just so that you don't stuff it up. Alrighty, and. Now, putting the interdiction torch, as I showed you before, it does, you know, make mobs be repelled. But it also, supposedly, because I obviously haven't tested this, uh, when you have it down and you chuck an interdiction torch, it should emit its own light level. So if we go like this... Sorry about that, just got to, uh, got to have a bit of a conversation with my mother. Alrighty, so, you know, effects of this thing are pretty obvious. You want to chuck them down in front of your doors, or, you know, if you've got a particular safe house, like, if you... Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, say you lived, like, in that house over there, but your spawn is over there, so you just line up the place with interdiction torches, and you'll be pretty much fine. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't do this until later in the game. Let's see. How many diamonds has this generated <laughs> since like the last few? Okay, a fair amount of diamonds. So once you actually get into your diamond generation, you can make a lot more of these. Uh, we'll find out how many... Uh, how much EMC are these worth? Okay, so we just want one. It's worth 12,932 EMC, so that's slightly more than a diamond. I think a diamond is about 8,000 or something. So we'll take that there. Yeah, 8,192, so slightly more than a diamond. So it's not too hard when you do uh, chuck them, when you do make them in here. Yeah, it creates two different interdiction torches. So it's expensive to start off with. Once you've got your alchemy uh, table, it will be a lot cheaper for you. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Broke it. Aww. It's all broke. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it. Uh, if you would like to see more flying zombies or, you know, anything like that, let me know. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, goodbye.